Hypertension or high blood pressure is an epidemic, according to a local cardiologist, adding the silent killer affects the brain, heart, and kidneys. For those who use multiple medications to control high BP, an investigational clinical trial might be for you. I started having issues where my blood pressure was rising in my 20s, and by the time I was 30, I was on blood pressure medicine. Over the years, doctors added more medications, and in some cases, up the strength, trying to balance Wendy Lippert's blood pressure, which was sometimes sorted 220 over 120. Any reading above 138 over 80 is considered abnormal. Even with the medications that I'm currently taking for, um, I still had um, issues. The Carlisle woman is hoping a study at UPMC Central Pennsylvania will change your life. Decades of research has shown an overactive nerve network connecting the kidneys to the brain, which runs through the renal artery, can contribute to high blood pressure. So we're one of 50 sites uh, in, the, in the United States that will be involved in this registry. UPMC's Heart and Vascular Institute is studying a device that's been tested, but now it's for any patient with high blood pressure. The uh, Affirm Renal Denervation Registry is is, a, is an investigational uh, clinical trial that's looking at the renal denervation system called spiral. Lippert is on the list for the procedure that takes about an hour and is done through the femoral artery using a catheter. We deliver very minute areas of energy within the renal artery and that leads to us being able to knock out a certain percent of the, uh, the renal nerves. Most patients go home the same day. We start seeing effects of this denervation within a few weeks of the procedure. And typically by three to six months, we, have a, uh, we typically see a significant drop in blood pressure. Importantly, the blood pressure looks like it's sustained the effect. So it lasts for several years. Back to Lippert, who's looking forward to procedure day. My goal for this, I hope, and I understand that this isn't a cure-all, but if I can get some stability um, in my blood pressure and get off of some of these medications, that will be um, an answer to prayer. Lippert goes in for her procedure on March 14th. We are following her journey and we'll keep you posted on her success.